So, the story goes, in 1998, Peter Jackson and his team were exploring New Zealand, looking for the best site to film Lord of the Rings, and they stumbled across this farmland that they thought would be absolutely perfect. Then, in 1999, before construction started, the New Zealand Army actually helped them build the 1.5k road to be able to reach where the set is now. At the time, the initial buildings weren't actually made with strong materials that could last beyond anything other than filming, so when they returned for the Hobbit trilogy in 2009, the set was rebuilt with more permanent structure. Like I said, there are 44 Hobbit holes in total here on this 12-acre movie set. Now the reason why we have the different scaled Hobbit holes was for different sized people. Now we call this little camera technique false perspective. Now hobbits, you know, shooting outside of hobbit holes, they would be outside of the bigger ones, so they look perfect hobbit heights. And then when we needed Gandalf to walk past a hobbit hole, he would walk past these smaller ones to give off wizard and hobbit heights as well. 